I'll pray. Okay. Our loving Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, O Master Lord. By the multitude of this mercy, this morning, then all the people from the different place that to come together, that to remember really what the Lord has done in this uh, Douglas School, all these uh, 50 years, O Master Lord. Thank you for thy mercy. Thank you for all the goodness which you have shown unto our Lord, all the school members and the school management. And hitherto then you have brought us in this stage. Father, we praise you. Thank you, Master Lord. Thank you for all the blessing. And then we remember all the people who have really labored this school that will come into this stage. Father, we praise you. Thank you, Master Lord. Oh Lord, because of thy mercy. And then the many people with a sincere heart and they have labored so far in this place. So that they know, Lord, all these years, then you have helped them that too. Oh Lord, to teach the lessons for all the children. Father, we praise you. Thank you, Master Lord. Thank you for all the mercy. Thank you for all the blessing. Once again, then we are committing this right from the beginning of this program till the end of the program into the almighty hands of the Lord. Let you alone will take care of it and give us such a grace, strength, and then guidance to every one of them to do every program the best way for the be premium. Mr. Swamiji Chakraborty, Assistant Vice Principal of uh, All High School. Mr. Anjan Nath, Principal of All High School. Mr. Himanish Mukaista, Principal of Nehru Higher Secondary School. Mr. Gideon of Asapali School. Mr. Tarun Sina of Asapali School and all the other dignitaries and our ex-principal uh, and principal of uh, Emmanuel High Secondary School, Mrs. Urus Racing, and all my friends, my colleagues, ex-alumni, all the students, respected teachers, and the managing committee members, and everyone, I welcome you all warmly uh, to this function. Uh, we are celebrating the 50th anniversary of our school. Uh, we also thank you for, uh, for all the parents who have come here to grace this occasion. We warmly welcome you all. We thank you for all being part of this uh, function. We wanted to have a greater grand function, but uh, we are limited with the resources that we have. So I thank you all for coming to this function. And now I'd like to throw a small glimpse of the past history of this school. My late father, late Reverend A.D. Devdas, founder and co-founder, late Mrs. Mary Elizabeth, founded this school on the principle of service, love and wisdom. The motto was service to mankind, service to the poorer classes, and with love of Christ, and impart, while imparting wisdom, we have the privilege that Eddie Douglas School took oath in 2nd June of 1972. Back then, you could just imagine how the school was like. There was no education. The government sector was weak. There was no, like, the government nowadays is very proactive. But then, those days, the government had, there was no proper education system, so much of corruption in the system. Like John Nehru said in 1947, we are traced with destiny. We had nothing, we had no foundation. The education sector was rebuilt, everything was to be rebuilt from scratch. The British took away all our wealth and here we are. And when we, uh, my father and mother came here, it was no lights, no electricity. And in this, 
situation, we saw that education, many of us left out from the education system. Hence the need to build a school. We had the privilege of being the first English medium school in the entire Lakhipur subdivision. Initially, this school was started for the orphans, exclusively targeting the orphans of the Bhakkalin area, of the Manipur, Manipur like uh, South District area, covering some parts of Mizoram. So we were targeting all these three uh, states, neighboring states, orphans from those uh, poor, poor uh, peop, uh, area should, used to come flock to our orphanage. For them, this school was started. And naturally, it gradually was opened up for the paying students so that we could uh, cater to a larger section of the society. Thereby, Edith Douglas could, took off illuminating the banks of the Bark River with hopes, foundation, expectation and pride providing English medium education to all the masses. There were times that my parents struggled to pay the salaries of the school teachers. My dad never wanted to borrow money from anyone. But here, my mother could not see that teachers are not being paid. She used to run to the Kabuliwala and borrow money to pay the salaries. And here we end up with debts. So this has been the way that we had and God has been kind to us. We have been able to run this. Though my parents are not alive today, yet they may be proud to see the school is still standing and we are moving forward. Yes, bro. And all the schools which have come after us have been some way or the other connected to us. There were teachers here okay. who later formed schools. Oh, and we encourage okay. because the, uh, uh, we somewhere. cannot limit our school okay, okay. education to one area. There are room for everyone for to grow. It's a healthy competition. As long as we have a healthy competition, I think it's fine. And we can expand the boundaries, the horizons of education. There's a lot more to do. There's a lot more to go. There's a lot more to uh, go forward. So together we work for the education community forward in a more higher level you can say. Till now we have, we, if we compare to the cities, there's a lot of gaps. Those gaps we are trying to fulfill. We could, you, uh, the parents can be assured that we are trying to build the future of our nation. In our school, we especially focus on diversity. That is what the picture of India is all about. That we are diverse. From different communities, without any regard to language, caste or creed, we serve everyone. We are happy to have you all come to this function. I also, once again, like to re repeat our guest of honor, Mr. James Anthony Somate. Thank you for coming and gracing this uh, occasion. Last but not the least, we go move forward from here to build a future of our nation. A to give a better future to all the student community. Like, I also wanted to relate one thing, like last year we wanted to start coaching for NEET and IIT from class 6 level. But we could not find a
Good morning to everyone. We, the student of the class, on this occasion, we are going to present a song, uh, which is called uh, the song name is called Goodness of God. We are going to present the song, uh, even though we may not be good, but still we have present for this day, for this occasion only, and for this coming day. So we are going to present the song. ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
Now I would like to call upon stage Madam Jemina Salvirani, Headmistress, Edith Douglas, for the felic felicitation of the, our chief guest, uh, Mr. James A. Songate, DSP, Security and Intelligence, Karimgan District. for sir. Sir is an uh, alumni of this school and he has surely made us all very proud. Friends, well wishers, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for inviting me to the Golden Jubilee celebration of Edith Douglas Higher Secondary School. 50th anniversary is a great event for any institution. It is also a time for getting together to celebrate the achievement of Douglas High School. I am very honored to be with you on this important occasion. Edith Douglas Higher Secondary School, now so well established and prestigious, had a humble beginning. Fifty years ago, when Kachar, Lokipur was still a remote area, and when there was no English medium school, it was Edith Douglas School and DMCA's Douglas Memorial Children Home that brought the teaching of Christian values and hope as a brighter future to the poor, needy, downtrodden, and unfa orphan in this corner of the world. <coughs> Golden Jubilee is also a moment to remember the contribution of founder and pioneer of the Glass English Medium School. I stand before you in uniform today because once upon a time I was a student of the Glass School. I am lucky. I was from a broken family. My mother, grandparents had no money to send me to school. So they approached Abba and Amma and that resulted in my entry into education. Because of entry into the class in the school, I had the opportunity to go to college and now I am in a position to talk before you. Thank you once again to class English Medium School. There are many people and students who have similar stories. Douglas has produced many good leaders, many good teachers, many social workers, bureaucrats, missionaries, and personals in Indian Army, Assam Police, and the like. 
I am happy that we have got student past and present tuning in from all across the world. I want to thank Douglas for being such an outstanding host. Such a brilliant work is possible only due to the able leadership of Douglas English Medium School Management Committee and the hard work of the teacher. Together, they have developed effective educational strategies for the benefit of students. Edith Douglas School is exemplary in many, many ways that it has every reason to look back on its 50 years with pride and satisfaction. My dear friends, my dear students, you are lucky to be studying in Edith Douglas Higher Secondary School today. This school has produced many, many people who have done great works in every aspect of life. You may not be a good student in your class, but then you have to move on. During your stay here, you learn and learn. Someday, you will go back to your home, your native villages. That time, you educate the less fortunate people so that they can also contribute to the society. You will contribute to the society that way too. Appa and Amma came from South India. In destiny, you will be the one who will write your destiny. You will write for your future. And the future will begin from here. The certificate that you get here will not be everything. Your certificate of HSLC H double S L C are the result of hard work given and paid by your parents, your guardian. Your real life will begin begin once you go out from the school or high secondary school. That time the real test will come. There was a time in my life. I thought life is not on my side, but I never gave up. The point is, you should be hardworking. The objective of the institution you are studying in is service, love, and wisdom. Service to mankind. You serve the people with love and gain wisdom from the education you get in Douglas. That was the motto of our school. Always remember this. Wherever you go, people must know that you are one of the students who pass out from this beautiful institution. They must appreciate. When they look at you, people must say, ah, these are the product of Edith Douglas Higher Secondary School. I am proud of it. That has to be the objective you must have. I feel very proud today because the teaching community, the student, the well-wisher of our school all have come together here to celebrate and reflect on the past, the challenges we face. There were challenges faced by our institution. But the school management committee never gave up. Appa and Amma may not be here today. But their legacy is still here. 
their sons, their, daughter, their daughters, our sars, our madams. These are the people we must look up to. What they teach will define your life. What I got from the glass defined my life. Wherever I went, here you are not only taught bookish knowledge, you are taught love, you are taught courtesy, you are taught humility, you are taught discipline. These are the values which will be of importance in your future life. Your bookish knowledge alone will not be of importance. Remember, this thing you will get in books, but the other side of life, as I said, you will get here in Douglas Higher Secondary School. You are lucky. Life may be difficult today. It will be tougher tomorrow. The day after tomorrow will be beautiful. Don't try to die tomorrow evening. Leave till day after tomorrow. What I want to say is, never give up. Never give up. You may not be the first boy of the class. You may not be the second girl of the class. But keep trying. Today you are lucky. You are very lucky. You have access to Google. Google Baba. You have smartphone. You have good teachers. You have good environment given by Douglas Court. You have hard work on your side. A combination of all this will define your life. Once you are tested outside, you will not look back. You will always move ahead. So, always keep the reputation of the brand called the glass. There was a time when very few could understand the importance of education imparted by our school. Fifty years down the line, everybody will say, Hi, Babri Bab, they have come a long way. This is possible only because of the student, the teachers, the school management committee, the parents, and well wishers Appa and Amma have come down from South India with a vision. That vision is still lingering. Some of you may not know the past history of our school. But I must say, the school has seen many ups and downs. You, you continue to contribute morning, morning. what you can to the welfare of the school. You work hard for the welfare and well-being of your student. In the long run, the society here, the district, the state, India and the world, and human community will prosper. You all must strive to be worthy of human being. You all are good human beings. The education that we are taught here 
will make us good human beings. I extend my best wishes to the present and future leaders, teachers, students of Edith Douglas Higher Secondary School with high hope and expectation that they will carry forward the motto of Douglas School, service, love and wisdom. I wish Edith Douglas Higher Secondary School a bright future. May you continue to flourish. Thank you so much. So that, that was not loud enough, so a big round of applause for our respected chief guest, sir. Now, I would like to call upon stage uh, Madam Monita and Miss Baniska for the felicitation of our guest of honor. So can I have you on stage, please? I would like to call upon stage Madam Uriday Singh, ex headmistress of Edith Douglas School. So a big round of applause, please. And ma'am, if you would be kind enough to say a few words. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I never thought that this uh, golden, golden jubilee would come so suddenly. You know, two teachers came and we have golden jubilee of Edith Douglas School. I said, yes, I have to go. This is the stepping stone of Emanuela Hare Secondary School. And I am very, very proud, proud meaning for the school. And I would just like to say thank you to the living God today. Because of His grace, we are here. First of all, respected sir, um, name, sir name is not here, sir, sir, sir James, whatever you have said, 100 percent sure, and all the dignitaries, teachers, friends, everyone, I just like to welcome you all today and I'm very happy that I could be here. It's all because of the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ that we can, I can stand here and witness. As Sir was talking a little bit about the progress of the school and when Benjamin was telling about the school, I also was there for some time. And you see, I never taught an English medium school. But when we landed in Silchur, suddenly my family from here in Lakipur called my husband, you have to come and help the family in Lakipur area. At the time I told my husband, see I cannot stay without working. I had a time of working in a Makunda leprosy colony as a nurse for seven years to serve the patient. And I never thought that I'll become a teacher. In my education at that time only pre-university. And so then when I said, I, uh, we have to go to my village in Lakhipur, then I said, hey, 
It was very difficult for me because I was raised in the mission field, only with the missionaries. And during that time, there was no English medium school. I had my education from Isabel, Isabel that is in the Karimganj district. And even then I said, I told my husband, you have to search a job for me because I cannot stay without working. So then he told me that maybe there is an English medium school. I'll go and ask Dr. Uh, Pastor Eddie Devadas so that you can go and help there. So Pastor Eddie Devadas used to come to Christian Literature House. My husband was from the very time of accepting the Lord Jesus Christ. His ministry was only with the literature. So pastor also used to come and buy books. So when pastor saw Abby's father, Pastor Eddie Devadas, then he said, I am going to my village in Lakhipur. Would you please give one job for my husband, uh, for my wife? Then he said, what is your wife? Then he said, she was a nurse. And now she is working as a, a LDC in the North East India Baptist Bible College. I'm talking about my past and how God has worked. Okay, at the time my two daughters were there. Ruth was only 11 months, I think. Oh, no, Hazel was 11 months. And would you please stand there, Ruth? Is my elder daughter, whether you all know or not. She was only at that time, I think, two years or something like that. And many of my students are also here. So with these two daughters, then when my husband, uh, my husband approached to Pastor Devadas, would you please give a job to my wife? Because we are going to move to village. And this was the only English medium school. So then Pastor said, what is her qualification? Then he said, she is a nurse. Then he said, how a nurse can teach an English medium school? Then my husband told, at least he learned English from the missionaries. Because I grew up serving the leprosy patient for seven years. And I never thought that I will become a teacher also. But God knew that he is going to start something. So that was the stepping stone. Stepping stone. The first English medium in, in uh, Edith Douglas School. And is... <coughs> Benjamin was giving report Ben, at the time so many of my students, ex-students are here. Even Benjamin was there at class 4, I think. And Abby is already with Lord. He was in class 6 or 7. And my son in Manidon was also there in class 4, I think, at that time. So many of them. And uh, Sir, my teacher now, in uh, Pailapur, Loyamba, would you please stand up? Loyamba was in KG1 at that time. He and his sister. Yes. And some of the uh, teachers those who were working in different places, like Jenny, Muni, they were the orphans here. And how Sar, Pastor and Madam, as he said, we used to call Appa and Amma. I actually did not know their full name also. Only I used to call Appa and Amma. They were just like families. Anyway, then they felt sorry for my husband. I think, okay, we will give you, we will give your wife a job. That, that was a, like, what you say, again, stepping stone. God was preparing. God is preparing wonderful things. I will never forget, in 1979, we arrived in Lakhipur. 79, August 30, I joined. I did Douglas School, 1979, September 1st. And God was preparing me for seven years. They were so good. They said, Madam, you need to upgrade yourself. So you go and study. So I did my own private education because to become a headmaster or headmistress, at least you need BA certificate. So teaching the students, and I used to go and run and give privately uh, the, like for my examination and all. And the time that Abby, uh, not Abby is already with the Lord, whatever Ben Benjamin has said, the time that went through financially, everything I know, 
And I used to translate for them a little bit of Mare Mizo, I know. That's why they used to ask me to help in translation of many things. So it was a, like a training center for me to work with them for seven years. Because in our time, there was no English medium school, only Bengali and Manipuri. But my education in English was by the missionaries of uh, America. So I had a chance to learn English. So like that, my husband approached and I am very thankful to God. They're just like my families, how they all grew up together, passing through all those difficult times. And as you were talking about that, I knew those. And one of the good, the good I should not say, the thing that how they trusted the Lord. I used to some, sometimes wonder how they sacrificed. And when my children were small, how they loved them, I'll never forget. They're the one who taught me. At the completion of seven years working in Eddie Douglas School, my father had a vision to start. He said now Eddie Douglas School has only up to class seven huh? then. And then he said we need to start because my father is an educationist. So he said we need to upgrade to help because our children were so we have to send to Silchar after class seven. So we need to start at this high, uh, up to high school. So in 1987, after serving here seven years, I, we moved to Pailapur to start Emmanuel English School at the time. And by the grace of God, and this was, the Adi Dokla School was like my uh, training center. And both Appa and Amma were so good. They sent us out prayerfully. They said, go. And behind me there was uh, Sar Premendro. Because Sar Premendro was the next who took up the headmastership. And I have seen that how God has worked wonderfully. Even this to start this English medium school in Pailapul. And now this is the result of Edith Douglas School. We cannot say as our respected Sar has said. It has to carry on in different places. And I could like be with them whenever they went through different uh, problems of monetary and all. Yeah, we could put there and we pray together. Their love I will never forget. Till today, I feel that Edith Douglas is part of my life, so to say. So even though I cannot come and directly help, I used to pray for them and my husband also this morning he said at the Douglas school was the first one that helped us. <laughs> we will never forget, may our living God Emmanuel bless at the Douglas school is our prayer on this day. And as our respected sir has already given lots of like encouragement to everybody, I know that God is going to work miraculously in the days to come also. And today, I want to encourage all his children, grandchildren, everyone from the Word of God because our strength is only from the Word of God. We cannot depend on anything. So I would like to read as Paul, the writer has written to the people of in those days in the churches we have uh, from the Romans 12, 1 and 2. In Romans 12, 1 and 2, the writer said, I therefore beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may know what is that is good, and profitable for all people. And then in that, in Hebrews again he said that, Hebrews 12, 1 and 2, I will just read out from the Bible and I would like to encourage all the family members today. Wherefore see we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which that so easily beset us let us run with patience the race that is set before us, 
looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the same, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. And these are the some encouragement that I would like to give to all his children, those who are here. I can not leave all of them. Abby is with the Lord and his wife and the children. Jamie Ma, we used to call Rani, her husband and the children. Ben, we used to call Benjamin, your wife and the children. Stella and the grandchildren and her husband and everybody. I would like to remind you the thing that your parents have taught you and you will carry it on for the glory of God because we are not going to live long in this world. It is not like the way we were. We go to school and study and it is not like that. Now everything is in computer. Whatever is going on in other places you can see. And you all to the next generation. I would like to encourage all of you, put God first in your life, the Emmanuel, God with us. By the grace of God, we could start in 1987, Emmanuel English School in Pelabur. Then the people of Binakandi, they requested, so in 19... Later on, after 10 years, we started Emmanuel English School in Binakandi, because they could not cross the river. And I would like to say thank you to all the people of Margolen, the leaders, those who are present here today. They were the one who helped us in supplying timbers. I used to go early morning at 6 o'clock to get the timbers for Binakandi Emanuel School and even for the uh, school in the Bailapul uh, also. It's hard to even to, they used to bring the timber for this Emanuel Binakandi School through the river. In early morning I used to go and we used to take up from the uh, river. That is how everybody helped. Everybody helped. It is not one person's work. We are all working together for God. The Lord said, we are working together for God. And when He is with us, things will grow. Benjamin, Stella, and then Rani we called. Her name is Jemima, I think, no? Achilla. So, and all the family members, the legacy that your parents have laid, I have seen with my own eyes. I have been with them for seven years. And I would like to just say thank you to all the people of Mark Holland. The year Puhu Maka is not here, I think, today. His grandson is here, Pungaka's grandson. How they all help us. Is our respected Sar has said, he also will never forget. I will never forget. And some of the uh, teachers like Lal Lamon, Jenny, Sarlemba, even one is pastor there in uh, our chart, uh, that is uh, Oshim Sarkar. They were all students here. When I joined, this was a training center for me. God was preparing wonderful thing to start Emmanuel English School. You can just recollect, as you have said, we are all working out. God has a very special thing that I never told I was a nurse in the leprosy colony for seven years, coming out later on to start the school. All glory to Emmanuel, the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what I just like to say, and, and that is all of you and all these children. May God, Emmanuel, bless all of you. In the days to come, and I know that this was a footstop, and this is a legacy. Everybody has learned through Appa and Amma. We used to call Appa and Amma, and how they used to love our children as their own children. And my son Leo is also there. They were in class four, Ben, and all there. I cannot mention all. I'm sorry I'm taking a little bit long, because I'm very happy to see the wonderful work of God in this community, how they are standing. May God, living God, bless all of you. It is our prayer. And at last, I would like to just give a small token uh, of love to Ben from Emmanuel English School. I would like to just give this uh. small token of love from the school.
ไอ้มาเลมิโซตรงกัดเลนก็สวยดอนนี่โอเลอ่ากระสวยชุดที่สุปะเทียนนี่น่าทุกข์ปะเทียนก็ออมจ้างที่ลิติจวนอมาเอ
फिर डस्टबिन लेके आता हूँ Good morning, all of you, respected my teachers, especially Madam Rani, Miss Stella, and all our teachers, Sir Amanta, Sir Moni Gopal, Elder Brother James, Sir Dube Sir, Tirtho Duti Sir, Father LT, all of you. I am very much happy today that the day on which the Silver Jubilee celebration was observed in this premises of school. I was very naughty at that time. And on that day only I got punishment. The day of Silver Jubilee celebration. So I remember that day. That day I was naughty. Till today I am naughty for this school. And I will always be naughty for this school because I left this school. See, by the blessings of God, and blessings of all of you, my teachers who have taught me. Today I become the commissioner. I am a little bit chota mota neta. I'd be, I might be a neta outside, but in front of you all, I am always your student. Please bless me like that. Please guide me like that, so that I can do something good for this school. See, today my. Son is studying in Ashapali school. The madam who is teaching him in the Ashapali English school got taught from this school. So, Edith Douglas school is the first school. And my sir, who is there, who is with Heavenly God, <coughs> Sir A.B., respected Sir Devdas and madam, they are with God today. But they came with the motive, elder brother James already, he told in his lecture that they came with the motive to guide, to make the society, to make this locality educated. They want to do something for the society. With this motive they came here and they have started the schooling. And from Edith Douglas school we all got educated and now we are in various sectors. I am very much happy that from this school we got a scientist who is working in ISRO, we get a doctor, we got an officer like elder brother James. We got many, many people, those who are serving in the society, for the well-being of the society. So, I am very much happy today that that day Golden Jubilee is not a small thing. We have to go so many ups and downs in our journey, in this school journey. Then only we can reach the Golden Jubilee celebration. After COVID, post-COVID scenario, we have heard, we have seen it in entire nation. There was lots of ups and downs. It may happen with Edith Douglas School also. But we got 24 hours in a day. It's my earnest request. Like me, those who have studied, I have, give, I have studied here from 1990 to 2003. 13 years I have been here in this Edith Douglas English School. So, we, in a day we are getting 24 hours. I am just asking, can we give only a, one hour and we can just think for this school. If you all can do like that, then we, we hope that our school will be there in that level. It is, it is one of the most good school and whenever we used to count it in those days. I used to remember those days because when Sir Evi was there, used to, he has done many things for this school. I have seen it because only for 6 hours I used to be in my house. From morning 6 a.m. to till night 11 a.m. Either I used to be in the hostel or I used to be in the school. Because all the things I have seen, all the scenario that have gone throughout this Edith Douglas school, I know that. I feel the pain also 
and I enjoy the, all the good things that happen with Eddie Douglas English School. Friends, we know one thing that the person who opens a school doors, he closes the doors of a prison. So my sir, Reverend Eddie Dabda, he has opened the school in this scenario, in this locality, and he has closed the door of the prisons. We have learned many things from these schools. And moreover, I can say that during when we have shifted, because previously we have got the schools in Miss Rose's house, I think. And from there we have been shifted here. From that, from this, those days also I have learned that whenever we have to sit, when, where we used to sit, and now where we are, school has gone. So all these ups and downs, it will happen in our life, it happens in school also. But it doesn't matter that we will leave our school. We should always be with our school. Lastly, I will say one thing, that education is, a, is our passport to the future. For tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it. So we should prepare and we have learned. I once again thanks to the Almighty God that He has given us the chance to see that see this day the golden jubilee. The golden jubilee is always a big thing. It's always a big thing. So I hope that I will be able to stand in front during the 75th celebration of this school. And let's pray to God that we all should help our club at Douglas English High Secondary School. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to have something to speak something in front of you. Thank you. I would like to uh, request Madam Ruth to come up on stage and uh, say a few words. Respected Chief Guest, Sir James Anate. Respected guest of honor, Madam Uriday Singh, respected dignitaries, respected Sir Benjamin, Madam Stella, Madam Jamima, the world. I also remember the contribution of some of my teachers. Forgive me if I leave out a few names. But I do remember my beloved Sir Pramendro, who taught us mathematics, Madam Nancy. Miss Janet at that time, but I think she do, she, she got married later. And also, some of my friends, even though they are not here, Sima Chetri was my best friend. Maya Chetri, Joshua, Para. I used to borrow comics from Para and read it during school. And I used to get punished for it also sometimes from Sandra I still remember. Those were the good days. Ram Hoplin, who sadly passed away due to a snake bite, but I can never forget him because he was also my classmate. Wherever we are today is because of the legacy of Edith Douglas <coughs> and also Sir Devadas and Madam. As long as they live, they continue to serve with love and they did not receive their rewards on this earth. But God has taken them to heaven and He will reward them. One day, Lord willing, we shall meet them too at the feet of Jesus. They are no longer with us, but their legacy will continue to live on. I am grateful for this opportunity that we have and I want to encourage each and every one of us who are here to continue that vision and legacy of Sir Devadas and Madam. I want to encourage the present teaching, teachers, the non-teaching staff, and above all my dear students who are here, please continue the vision of Sir and Madam. And also, as an alumni, I also promise, Sir, Whatever that I can do to help Douglas, not only to stand, but also to grow from strength to strength, I will do it. Please always feel free 
to share with us whenever you go through hard times because we are there to help each other. May God bless the family of Eddie Douglas. Long live Eddie Douglas School. Thank you. Uh, the NGO Marin Queen wants to represent a token of love uh, on this 50 years of uh, Douglas. So I would like to request uh, Mr. L.T. Mar, Vice President, please come up on stage. And I would also like to request Sir Benjamin to receive the momentum. I, on behalf of Mar Supreme House, Barak Valley Region, would like to extend my profound gratitude to the organizing committee of this uh, Golden Jubilee celebration, Edith Douglas Higher Secondary School, for organizing such a wonderful and marvelous program today, uh, 10th February 2023. Thanks to the uh, managing committee, teaching staff, and non-teaching staff for your untireless service for the community in this region. And uh, I will not take much time. Yes, I have seen the program. It uh, already means it's uh, 38 serial, 38 numbers. So there are many more programs that is left behind. So I just would like to say that the scripture passes that is quoted here is so much relevant for today's program. The Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy. The God has done great things for us that He leaded us, He guided us that we could reach up to 50 years of God ministry. Today I am very proud to say that we have reached and we have accomplished 50 years of God's ministry in this world. And because of that, today we are filled with joy. So this is not, let us not think that 50 years of God's ministry is enough. We have many more to achieve in this world for the community, for the students. And I, on behalf of Mar Supreme House, Barak Valley Regent, uh, would like to call upon our uh, Mar Supreme House advisor, uh, Sir Mr. James, and uh, another James, the secretary of Mar Supreme House, to hand over this uh, a, a memento for remembrance and as a token of love and as a token of remembrance of this Golden Jubilee. So I would like to call upon the uh, head of institution or the administrator of this institution to receive a small gift. Office of the Mars Supreme House, Barak Valley Region, Marvali Kacharasan. Appreciation. It feels like yesterday since we started working for the Mar community in this remote part of the world. Whereas it's already been 50 years, we must acknowledge that Edith Douglas Higher Secondary School has come a long way on an instrument of change and tool for the poor, needy, downtrodden, and orphaned. You have set an exemplary standard for all of us with your work, ethics, and dedica dedication in this field of education. We appreciate your untireless service or untireless effort. With our best accomplishment on your Golden Jubilee, we pray for more fantastic years of education for the Mar community. The signatories, James, Lalun Sang, General Secretary, Mar Supreme House, 
El Rizoy in Togote, President, Mar Supreme House. Dated 10th February 2023. Thank you so much. Next off, we'll uh, kick off with the items. So, on the list, uh, we have a beautiful Mar traditional bamboo dance from the students of high school. Sunday, 
Next we have group song by class 9. Can we all have in the stage? Group song by class 9.
It's 12.27 p.m. the wonderful group song. <coughs> Next we have <coughs> Action Dance by class 3 and 4. Next we have Action Dance by class 3 and 4. Mình thấy được đây
डोनेट किया बोला एक पेन खरीद के लेके गया उसका लगा रहा है फिर वो बस आया अरुण और वो लोग कौन लेकर लेके आए हाथ देखा बस हाँ नहीं इससे छोटा हो गया पूरा ऐसे से बार बार हिला वो नहीं हो रहा कहता नहीं पे लास्ट नेक्स्ट वी हैव मणिपुरी ट्रेडिशनल डांस बाय क्लास फाइव खंबतुई बी मणिपुरी ट्रेडिशनल डांस बाय क्लास फाइव खंबतुई बी ब्रो ब्रो हाँ ओ सुन दे ऐ मोबाइल से कॉल लाख में आम से जो कॉल लाख में लाख में मोबाइल से कहीं तो वो है ना ब्रो वारे Kau bayi, ayi jumpi, kentau bayi, ayi orang yang macam saya, kau bermata bayi dia. Ayi sekarang, ayi dia health problem ni, macam ayi, kau bayi dia. Ah, hoi hoi, kau tu, kau tu sih, jam lapi. Ya kan, ini mobile sih lah, kau bayi cepat, kau bayi cepat, macam ayi, main lagi lah. Apa dia? Ada lak ni, lak ni saya apa ni? Kena bawa lak ni, bawa pergi awang saya masak kang le, mesti masak kang jauh ke besi ni lak ni. Yeah, 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 yeah. 